Uh, hi again, uh, John Berry, 417 North 15th Street, Kenilworth. And I got a couple of things on the resolutions, and I'll sit down. Uh, quick things. This, this, is, this is the time for comment on resolutions. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Berry. Thought I'd lead the way. <laughs> uh, 19, uh, expunging real estate taxes for the American Atheist Library. Just out of curiosity, you know, what's the backstory there? And in an apparently unrelated one, the late starter, 21. Uh, what are the arguments that persuaded you to uh, participate in the UCIA Renewable Energy Initiative? And I'd appreciate it if you could go into some detail on, on the renewable energy thing. I mean, you could blow off the atheist question if you want. It's too controversial. But <laughs> no, no. I mean, we're prepared to explain everything we're doing here, perhaps not as well or clearly as we'd like. Um, the resolution regarding 19, regarding uh, tax collection expungement, um, that's a direct uh, action requested by the tax assessor, and there was apparently a tax appeal to the county and um, the township, uh, by judgment of the county tax court, was ordered to take this action. So that's, that explains that. Regarding the uh, renewable uh, energy initiative, what convinced us uh, to uh, approve the resolution? Um, last night we had representation from a law firm representing the Union County Improvement Authority explaining the risks to the township. That was the first question that we started with. And the explanation that we were given gave the township commissioners um, comfort in the fact that apparently there's no risk to Cranford to get involved in this. Um, it, you know, there are obvious benefits to getting involved in renewable energy projects. Township Committee for several years has wanted to embark on this type of project. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to fund it. This appears to be a, a way to fund it um, at no risk, no cost to the township. Our questions were answered very directly, very straightforwardly. We've made some slight revisions to the um, resolution that gives the township further protection, in our opinion. And it, it allows us to embark on a renewable energy project. Um, for, for all of, and I'm not going to go into all of the benefits that renewable energy engenders, but there are many. Um, reduction in greenhouse gases, uh, advancement of technology, um, economic development long term if solar energy turns out to be the energy of the future. We, we want to be part of that. and. You know, I'll, I'll open it up to any other commissioner to add to that if they'd like. So th those were the reasons that we decided to move ahead with it. And I, I appreciate your reservations. I, I did read, you know, reservations. Um, but based on the information that we had, based on the responses that we received uh, from the county and, and, and the folks representing the county, it uh, it was... A, a decision that was fairly easy to make. And just uh, one quick point of clarification. Um, it's also not going to be the burden of Union County taxpayers, which obviously Cranford residents are. The explanation is all debt service attributable to the issuance of these authority bonds will be paid for by the solar developer selected through the competitive contracting process. And it should be noted that this competitive process was used up in Morris County successfully. And in Morris County, uh, the lessons learned there, it's the same people involved here from the Morris County project as well. So we're not guinea pigs. Um, this has been done before. And again, there is no cost to the township for the bond payment. Thanks. Thank you, Commissioner Robinson.